it is advanced model composer what is it and how to use it advanced model composer creates analytical em models as a function of geometric parameters and frequency can be used to create passive models like inductors capacitors ship lines and so on it it's an em component geometric parameter sweep from a schematic result these are some of the models that can be created mim caps matching elements inductors what is the difference between AMC model and swept EM component? The swept EM component, a parameterized EM component, sweeps the values continuously and it creates a multi dimensional model. It's on the fly and it can use linear interpolation for the values that are not swept. Whereas a global model is a multi nominal model in which the frequency can be continuous. And you can have discrete P1 and P2 layout parameters. The frequency can be continuous as well as the value P2, whereas the P P1 parameter can be discrete. And in the third model, all the parameters can be continuous. So you can create these models up front and ship it as part of the design kit. How do you use this model is set up the substrate and layout mapping, create geometry in the layout, insert pins, set port types, parameterize the layout, that is define the parameters to be swept, set up EM simulation parameters in the EM setup view, create an EM component, symbol and EM models, generate an AMC model, and then package it into a design kit. The first step is parameterizing layout. There are two methods, nominal and perturbed and subnetwork. You can refer to these YouTube videos and step by step on how to create these parameterized models. Once you create these parameterized models, you define the parameters in the model. The next step is to define the AMC sample space. So the geometry parameters can be continuous, constant or discrete ranges, and they use linear interpolation. So using the AM AMC models, you can use it as uh, similar to any other model in a schematic, and you can tune, you can optimize, and so on. Here's an AMC um, demo. Here's an inductor with uh, all these different parameters, number of turns, length one, length two, and width, and spacing. Define the parameters that you want to sweep to create the EM model. Second step, define the pins, so you can define the ports. Third, define the substrate. Fourth, go to parameters and um, define the parameters that you want to sweep. In this case, we're sweeping number of turns and width and set them to sub network type. Once you set up the parameters to sweep, the next one is to go to the EM menu, go to components, and then create EM model and symbol. So this EM model and symbol are views in the rectangular inductor that we're gonna create the EM model for. Next, define the EM setup, just like a typical EM simulation that you do. Define the ports, substrate and the frequency plan in this case you're going to use a momentum microwave EM simulator to create the EM model once we're done with uh, setting up the setup now let's create a test print so we can actually test the component so in this case the built-in rectangular inductor we drag and drop and place it in the schematic and we set up a parameter sweep to sweep the turns. Since we haven't generated an EM model, if you go into the database of this EM model, the database is empty. So the next uh, few minutes, we'll talk about how to generate incremental models. So first we are gonna go to the EM menu, component, advanced model composer, 
create model and uh, we're just going to sweep one value for number of turns in width and then click OK it pops up the advanced model composer click the OK button and this starts the AMC model generator and while the AMC is running we can uh, check on the status you click click the refresh button in this case uh, since we run only one momentum simulation just a few seconds let's go into the schematic and look at the EM database to see what kind of data was uh, generated let's open up the EM model and the database and you see uh, we generate the model for just one set of parameters so now let's uh, add some more parameter values go to events model composer create model and uh, let's uh, create discrete values for the number of turns and then for width make sure to click the update parameter sweep plan button otherwise it will not update in number of turns we forgot to do that so we're going to redo it again set it to 4 and 5 as number of turns and update the parameter sweep plan click OK opens up the AMC window again and click OK and it's going to generate the models let's check the status of the EM model generation click the refresh button and you see the uh, momentum simulation running for each set of uh, parameter sweep and then the advanced model composer is done generating the EM model now again let's go back to the schematic and examine the model push into the model and go to database and we see there are more set of parameters so this is a way of incrementally creating more sets of parameter sweep and um, enhancing the model so let's uh, sweep the values in the schematic and look at the plot so here you see uh, different inductance and Q values for uh, different values of the parameters so again uh, let's add some more parameters it's very easy to do that just go to create models in this case let's uh, sweep width to be continuous with a max min of 5 mils and a max of uh, 7 mils click update parameter sweep plan and we're going to generate a continuous range model again click on ok on the AMC window again let's examine the database for the EM model we'll see more set of values of models that are created for these parameters so these EM models that are created by the AMC can be simulated can be tuned it can be used in a bigger circuit or it can be optimized so let's tune the model We're going to tune the width. And as we tune the values, uh, it runs the simulation and use the EM model and uh, updates the uh, data display. And that's how you create an advanced model composer model and create a library of your components to be used in your design.